while many learn and perform an art form, few gain prominence. Prima donna is a French word often used to denote superstar in dance ballet. Thus, the word gained currency with the arrival of Vaijanti Mala, Yamini Krishnamurti and others started following. These were the leading ladies or dancers of the Bharatanatyam world. They made Bharatanatyam popular and helped it reach far and wide through stage performances and films too. Many films were made on them and they were, before the advent of TV, local stars of Delhi or Madras or Bombay. Indrani Raman, born in 1930, she died in 1999. She was a shimmering star on the horizon of dance. Trained by Guru U.S. Krishna Rao of the Bangalore, she also learned from Chokalingam Pillai and Sikkal Ramaswamy Pillai. She trained with Kitappa Pillai too and later K.G. Govindarajan conducted her recitals. Indrani had an unusual stage appeal as she was born to an American mother, Ragini Devi, and an Indian father. She was lovely and even won the Miss India beauty pageant and became a celebrity overnight. Her Bharatanatyam was clean and graceful for she retained the overall influence of her guide Ram Gopal. Indrani was lost to Bharatanatyam once she took to Orissi and made her own in the 1960s though she continued to perform both forms and Kuchipudi as well. Vajantiwala Bali, born in 1933, had her debut in 1947 and immediately established a rapport with the audience. Guru Dandayudha Pillai and later Guru Vazuvur Ramaya Pillai honed her talent. Both gurus had a penchant for glittering delivery, fast-paced jatis and excellent flourishes. Vaijanti Mala eventually moved to Bombay owing to her popularity in the Hindi film industry. But she maintained the purity and beauty of Bharatanatyam despite her long association with popular cinema. Till date, she retains inner grace born of good upbringing and discipline. She was running her school Nyatyalai for a few years in Chennai. Padmini, her elder sister Lalita and younger sister Ragini were dancers and film actresses and together called the Travancore sisters. They learned from Guru Gopinath of Travancore and his wife Thangamani Bharatanatyam from Pandanalur Mahalingam Pillai and Manipuri from Uday Shankar apart from many types of folk dances. In their early public performances, Lalita and Padmini usually played Krishna and Radha. Ragini joined them in 1944 and for more than 13 years, the sisters regaled the audiences with their synchronized performances. Their six-minute dance sequences, sometimes in pairs, were part of over 200 Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam and Hindi films. Uday Shankar gave them key roles in his film Kalpana, now regarded as a dance classic. After Lalita's marriage in 1957, Padmini and Ragini continued the partnership. Padmini and Shivaji Ganeshan formed the legendary team in Tamil cinema. Padmini herself married Dr. K. T. Ramachandran in 1961. She danced in many European capitals and so kindled widespread interest in Indian art and culture. In 1977, she started her own school, the Padmini School of Fine Arts, at her New Jersey home with four students. Padmini also taught at the Kerala Cultural Forum in New Jersey. She has choreographed several ballets such as Valli Tirumanan, Kannagi, Ramayan, Shakuntala and Dashavatara. Padmini Padma Subramaniam came under the tutelage of Vazuvur 
Ramaya Pillai and conducted her Arangetram in 1959. Later, she decided to undertake research on temple sculpture, specially to study poses of Karnas. She created a niche for herself by showcasing the various Karnas depicted on the walls of shrines important to Bharatanatyam, particularly the Chidambaram temple and making this material the mainstay of her dance. Before her, Swarnamukhi, a dancer with a circus background, had won a claim for assessing diff difficult poses. Padma's dance veered towards drama with an emphasis on makeup and sets. She named her style Bharatanrityam, which was accepted and celebrated by her admirers. Fond of experimentation, she explored the mono acting technique through her productions such as Krishnaya Tubhyam Namaha, Ramaya Tubhyam Namaha and Jaya Jaya Shankara. She tried out fusion in shows such as Jatayu Moksham and danced to Tchaikovsky's Romeo and Juliet. She has also presented some Kuruvanjis. In Chennai, she runs Nrityodaya, a dance school founded by her father, film director K. Subramaniam in 1942. A graduate in philosophy and sociology from the University of Mysore, Sudharani Raghupati's accomplished gurus in the field of Bharatanatyam included K. P. Kittappa Pillai, U. S. Krishna Rao and Mailapur Gauri Amma. Her training in Karnatak music was under violin master T. Chaudhya and Vagayakara, Vidwan Madurai and Krishnan. She is perhaps one of the rare Bharatanatyam dancers in India who has performed before visiting dignitaries to India since 1956. She founded Sri Bharatalai in 1970 in Chennai. Her TV serial Bharatanjali, an appreciation of Bharatanatyam, the first of its kind on Durdarshan in 1981, 13 episodes in black and white and 1989, 8 episodes in color is one of her significant contributions to dance. She has produced valuable resource material, Mudura Margam, book containing dance compositions of Vidwan, Madurai and Krishnan, Lagu Bharatam, volumes 1, 2 and 3, which is the handbooks on Bharatanatyam, which is an unique contribution to the dance. At the age of 10, Chitra Vishweshwaran went under the tutelage of one of the best Devadasis of Tiru Vadi Vadai Mardur, T. A. Rajalakshmi, who was settled in Calcutta and under whom she trained for nearly 10 years. In 1970, she received the National Scholarship for Advanced Study in Bharatanatyam from the Ministry of Human Resource Development, Government of India. She spent her scholarship period of four years under Guru Vazuvu Ramaya Pillai. Chitra started teaching dance as, at Calcutta at the age of 16, but it was in 1975 that she established Chidambaram Academy of Performing Arts in Chennai, now an acknowledged premier institution in India. Alarmel Valli, who was born in 1956, is a sparkling example of the Pandanalur style as taught to her by Subbaraya Pillai, son of Chokalingam Pillai. Her work has rarely found spontaneity in her dance. The beauty and joy, the spirit and the substance of Bharatanatyam all flow effortlessly. After Yamini Krishnamurti, Alarmel Valli is truly an artist who has captured everyone's attention, the critics, the connoisseurs, the audiences and the media. Alarmel has amongst the most active dance careers today based purely on her talent. Malvika Sarukai, born in 1959, arrived on the dance scene practically overnight. Trained at Bombay's Sri Rajarajeshwari Bharatanatya Kala Mandir, 
She also learnt in Chennai from Swami Malai Rajaratnam Pillai. She learnt Abhinaya from Kalanidhi Narayan, discovered for festivals of India abroad in 1985, beginning with France, she has gone from strength to strength. Her technique is impeccable and she continues to be active in the world of dance. She mentors select students in Bharatanatyam. Kalakshetra Chennai Stalwart performers and gurus of Kalakshetra Foundation in Chennai are many. Dhananjay is famous as Kalakshetra's Sri Ram. Shanta participated in many Kalakshetra productions and is remembered for her role as Radha in Geet Govindam. Shanta and V. P. Dhananjayan met in Kalakshetra and married but shortly afterwards branched out on their own due to some issues and started Bharata Kalanjali. They established an infrastructure, developed and trained musicians and instrumentalists for a dance orchestra. Their productions are known for the good music, aesthetic costumes and sets and excellent group choreography. C. V. Chandrasekhar is famous of the Kalakshetra mould. Chandrasekhar trained in Kalakshetra from the age of 10 and later went on to study botany in Banaras. Though Jaya's initial interest was in Kathak, she started to learn Bharatanatyam from Lalitha Shastri, an alumni of Kalakshetra. Mutual interest in dance brought them together and they helped popularize Bharatanatyam in Uttar Pradesh in North India. Chandrasekhar became the head of the dance department at MS University, Baroda. Here his skill as musician, composer and choreographer was put to good use in his innovations. In place of Padams, they introduced Hindi poems and choreographed dance dramas such as Ritu Samhar, Bhumija, Brahmar Geet, etc. On return to Chennai, they continued Nrityashri which was established in Baroda in early 1980s. They are well loved and known as excellent teachers. Vasantha Lakshmi and Narasimhachari are a Sishya and Guru who married in 1969 and started the Kala Samarpana Foundation in Chennai. In Kalakshetra, Narasimhachari, who was initially a Bura Katha, a traditional Andhra form of musical storytelling artist, learned music and participated in the dance dramas. Their greatest contributions to Bharatanatyam are about 25 dance dramas they have choreographed on various themes. Sharda Hoffman is one of the earliest students of Kalakshetra who was close to Rukmini Devi and became a valued teacher in the dance department. She was responsible to a great extent in formulating the polished and graceful Kalakshetra style of Bharatanatyam. After completing her course in Kalakshetra, Pushpa Shankar became a teacher of Bharatanatyam in the institution. She is specially remembered in the Ramayana series of Rukmini Devi as Kaikai and Surpankha. After graduating from Kalakshetra, Vasant Vedam became a Bharatanatyam teacher. She trained Kalakshetra students in science subjects to appear for matriculation exams. Rukmini Devi was very particular that all dance and music students should have general education. She was very musical and participated in Rukmini Devi's Kutral Kuruvanchi as the Sakhi with the heroine role being done by Rukmini Devi. Catherine Kunhi Raman did the two-year course for foreigners in Kalakshetra and after obtaining the certificate there, she completed the diploma course at Bharata Kalanjali of the Dhananjayas. She and her husband Kunhi Raman, one of the earliest students of Kalakshetra, started the Kalanjali Institute in Berkeley, California. Kunhi Raman was well known for his roles as Vishwamitra, Dasharath and so on 
in the Ramayana series. He played the role of Lord Shiva in Kumar Sambhavam along with Rukmini Devi who was Parvati. Thangamani Natarajan Nagarajan trained under Periyai Sharda for her two-year graduate course. She danced as Rati in Rukmini Devi's Kumar Sambhavam. She taught at Kalakshetra for five years and participated in several of the Kalakshetra dance dramas. Janardhan, son of Kathakali Mastro Chandu Panikar, learned Kathakali and Bharatanatyam in Kalakshetra. He is known for his role of Sri Rama in the Ramayana series. He was a teacher after graduation and retired as the principal of Kalakshetra. Savitri Jagannathan Rao runs her dance school Pradakshina where she teaches students the pure Kalakshetra style. Indira Bora, a talented dancer from Assam, participated in Rukmini Devi's dance dramas and is remembered for playing the role of a Sakhi to Shakuntalam. She is the founder of Kalabhumi in Gauhati. Today, Bharatanatyam is such a popular choice of recreation as well as profession in the capital that it may be hard for youngsters to imagine a time when Delhi's middle class culture knew hardly a thing about this classical dance form from South India. Among the earliest gurus of the art who came to the city was Guru K.G. Govindarajan, a highly trained vocalist, choreographer and Natuvanar. His mother, Kiranarur Jayalakshmi, was a well-known musician and her first guru. His other gurus included Vidwan Narayan Swami, T.V. Nama Shivayam, Sikkal Ramaswami Pillai and Kripa Samudra Swamigal. When he was hardly 26, Guru Govind Rajan came to Delhi in 1960 among with his mentor Sikkal Ramaswami. With their formidable repertory of classical compositions, they first taught music at Triveni Kala Sangam, one of the city's few institutions then. Eventually, the younger Guru aided by a firm dedication and a faith that drew no distinction between his prayer and his art practice, established his own school, Bharata Natya Niketan. With his in-depth knowledge and genial nature, he gathered many students and created a large corps of Bharatanatyam compositions. A number of senior dancers were trained by him including Gurus Jamuna Krishnan, Jaya Shankar Menon, Radha Marar, Rasika Khanna, Kiran Segal and others. His style was a fine blend of tradition and demands of contemporary time limits. Sikkal Ramaswami Pillai taught at Triveni Kala Sangam in Delhi. His disciple Hema Malini says, he was a kind old man and in a way my first guru. His other disciple at that time was the then Miss India Indrani Rahman, a very beautiful lady and a very fine dancer too. In fact, I have spent many evenings just watching Indrani practice with our guru. It was a great treat watching her move as gracefully as she did. Hema was content learning from Ramaswami Pillai except that he had a peculiar problem. When accompanying Hema on her dance shows, Pillai would on stage break into singing rather than concentrate on his Natuvanga. Yamini Krishnamurti, born in 1936, can be truly called the real prema donna of Bharatanatyam. A brilliant performer of Kuchipudi, Orissi and Bharatanatyam, her tutelage under Ilappa Pillai made her shine like a perfectly cut diamond. Her father, Professor Krishnamurti, used her to conduct lecture demonstration. 
She was Kalakshetra's best known name of her period and after her moved to Delhi in 1958, ruled the roast like a true prima donna. Yamini's stature remains undiminished. Along with her sister Jyoti, who is a vocalist and often conductor, Yamini enthralled audiences for over three decades. She runs the Nritya Kaustuba school in Delhi. Sonal Mansingh, born in 1944, represented a new phenomenon of the 1960s, a cosmopolitan in Mumbai making a foray into the world of Indian classical dance. Sonal was born into a family of freedom fighters. She learned Bharatanatyam from the Bangalore based gurus U.S. Krishna Rao and Chandra Bhaga Devi. She made remarkable progress. Sonal married Lalit Man Singh, whose father, Dr. Mayadhar Man Singh, was a renowned literator of Orissa and learnt Orissi from Guru Keluchan Mahapatra. She had an accident in Germany and made a much publicized comeback as a performer in the mid 1970s. Although groomed in both Bharatanatyam and Orissi by excellent gurus, Sonal has few promising talents among her pupils. Born in 1937 in Bilari, Andhra Pradesh, Saroja Vaidyanathan took her initial training in Bharatanatyam under Lalita at the Saraswati Gana Nilayam in Chennai. She was later a student of the well-known guru Kuttu Manar Muttukumaran Pillai of Tanjavur. She also studied Karnatak music under Professor P. Sambamurthy at Madras University and obtained a delit in dance from the Indira Kala Sangeet Vishwavidyalai Kheragad. Saroja Vaidyanathan is well established today among the leading Bharatanatyam teachers of the country. She is the founder director of Ganesh Natana Natyalai, a dance institution in Delhi where she has trained a large number of young dancers. She has authored several books on dance and music including The Science of Bharatanatyam, Karnatak Sangeetam, Bharatanatyam, an in-depth study and classical dances of India. A documentary film on her work in the field has been produced by Media Craft Production. Leela Sampson, born in 1951, learnt dance at Kalakshetra and evolved into a professional dancer. After participating in several productions of the institution, she moved to Delhi and initially taught at the Sri Ram Bharatiya Kala Kendra. She later left the Kendra and started her own classes, teaching such talents as Justin McMurthy, Nautej Singh Johar and Joyce Paul among others. Leela has maintained the dignity of Bharatanatyam and succeeded in creating productions like Spanda which holds the audience's attention. She has authored articles and a book on dance. Leela Sampson has served as the director of Kalakshetra as well as head of the Film Censor Board. Two documentaries made on her are Sanchari by Arup Khopkar and The Flowering Tree by Ian La. Geeta Chandran began training learning Bharatanatyam from the age of five under the tutelage of Swarna Saraswati who hailed from the traditional Tanjavur das Devadasi Parampara. Geeta continued learning diverse aspects of the classical dance from a galaxy of eminent gurus like Vazuvur Sadashivam, K.G. Govindarajan and K. N. Dakshinamurti. She also learnt Abhinaya from Jamuna Krishnan and Kalanidhi Narayan. From her 1980 performance for Sur Singar Samsad when she was 18, it has been an upward journey for Geeta who has performed in all major festivals. Today she is a renowned artist who
who has synthesized the knowledge she received from her gurus to imprint Bharatanatyam with her personal vision of the dance. She runs Natya Vriksha in Delhi and meticulously trains her students. Gita has evolved a holistic style of teaching the classical dance to engage young learners. Jaya Lakshmi Ishwar studied under Rukmini Devi in Kalakshetra. She has played a Tanjavu dancer in G. V. Iyer's Kannada film Hamsa Geeta. She is the founder of Abhinaya Center of Dance, New Delhi. She has authored books like Pada Bheda and Hasta Prayoga. Her educational dance card game provides knowledge on the Indian classical dance forms that is Bharatanatyam, Chau, Kathak, Kathakali, Kuchipudi, Manipuri, Mohiniyattam, Odissi and Satriya through playing. Two types of games can be played, educational or fun by making sequences like regular card game Rami. There are a few other talents who have won the admiration of critics and rasikas alike by their total dedication to dance. Among these artists are Leela Ramanathan who was Ram Gopal's accolade for, from Bangalore, B. Bhanumati, Padmini Ravi and her students Kiran Subramanyam and Sandhya Kiran of Bangalore, Rashmi Hegde, disciple of Guru Muthaya Pillai to name a few. We also have Vasundhara Doraswami of Mysore, Parul Shah in Baroda, Maya Gulkarni, a political science teacher in USA who is the Bharatanatyam dancer of repute, Indira and Menaka Bora of Assam, excellent dancer teacher choreographer Menaka Thakkar in Toronto, Canada, Rajashwari Sainath of Sikandrabad and Anand Shankar Jayant of Hyderabad. Rohinton Kama, the wonder boy of Bharatanatyam, who was the trailblazer but gave up dance, Deepak Majbundar of Mumbai, Sucheta Chapekar of Pune, Kiran Segal, who learned the art from Guru K.G. Govindarajan but now performs mostly Odissi, Kanaka Srinivasan, a disciple of Ramaya Pillai in Delhi, Sindhu Mishra, a bright disciple first of K.G. Govindarajan and later of Mridangam player Dakshina Murthy of Delhi. Uma Bala Subramanyam, a prized pupil of K.G. Govindarajan, Vani Govindarajan, daughter and disciple of Guru K.G. Govindarajan, Nautej Singh Johar, the Sikh dancing sensation, Rama Vaidyanathan, the be best exponent of Yamini Krishnamurti style, now under Saroja Vaidyanathan, and Sonal Mansingh's student Ketaki Narayan are some of the Delhi talents. Urmila Satyanarayan, Kavita Ramu, Swarnamala Ganesh and Shri Kala Bharat from Chennai, all disciples of K.G. Sarasa, Priyadarshini Govinda and Srinidhi Chidambaram, disciples of Swami Malai Rajaratnam Pillai have won audiences from the younger generation of for their dance. Mm -hmm.